Hi everybody, this is my motor scooter. This is an updated video since a long time ago because the last time I recorded it was a while ago and I made a lot of improvements. So the first thing is this grip tape that I added. It's skateboard grip tape. I cut it out and just put it right on there. It's kind of dirty now, but and then I put a little bit up front, one right there. Next thing is the handle brakes. I bought them from a bike shop or a sports store or something. And then there's my brake and my speed control or my throttle, which was already there. And so what I did was the the handlebars I actually cut. I made them shorter so it was easier to control. And then this pull right here. It was, it used to be up to about here, which made it a lot higher and everything was kind of more uncomfortable and weird. So I cut that down so that it was more level with the seat. Because it used to be way up here. So I have that cut and then it, now it's easier to control it also. And it's more comfortable. So my coolest thing I bet probably is this key start. So just like a car, you plug, put in a key. It's kind of a weird key. It's not normal. I don't know if you can see the hole, but it's like, yeah, there it is. It's like a circular thing. Anyway, so you plug it in, and then you turn it just to one direction, and then you pull it out, and it turns on the throttle, or it turns on the scooter, and you can see there's a light here that comes on. So I basically just ran the wire through there, down here, and it comes out right there. And then it comes around here. That's my old switch that I used to use, but now it just goes straight from there into the into the um, battery box right here. And so that switch I should probably take off. But yep. And then my seat, I improved a ton. I got same seat, but I had this much stronger foundation. It just two two by fours cut at that angle, and then I drilled this strong metal pole which is thicker than the actual this one right here and it goes all the way down in there and then that just had another like inch of support I put this metal ring around here painted it all red so gives me room for my feet <clears throat> and it's a lot stronger so I used to have my bucket back here but now I put these two um like metal bars and I bent them in shape and stuck my bucket on there so now I have more room I mean I guess there's nothing I can put there but it's more like out of the way instead of being right there so <clears throat> and then I just kind of fixed that it used to be a little bit wobbly but now it's much better it doesn't really move so this is much more comfortable because I used to have to stand up all the time while I was riding but now I can sit down feeling safe and not like it's gonna fall apart or anything so then I added this bar for support in this like L shaped thingy um, this helped a lot because at first when I would stand on it it would kind of bend a lot because the plastic this is PVC piping so it's not very strong so I just put this like it looks like a long screw just like a long bolt all the way through and up on the bottom right there and then I put some nuts on it and tightened them so that helps a ton doesn't really look like it does but it does oh there's my cool grip tape on the wheel right there yep so uh, that's most of the new stuff oh yeah and then I have my kickstands old but I'm gonna lay this thing down Ugh. and then I have this, oh I forgot my, my um, this is a, see, this is a, here I'll just stand See. No, yeah, it's single. So this is for when I pull William on the back. I attach my, the rope that I showed you guys in the last video. I attach it around here. And I used to attach it right here in this hole through there and around there. So that means that when, when that was like that, 
if you were over here on the skateboard, then it would get caught in the wheel and it'd get a whole tangle, it'd be like a really tangled mess and the rope would rip. But now, you can go anywhere around it. So if William's just like gliding all over here, it won't get caught in the wheel. So it's like a protect, and it also protects the wheel. Pretty cool. So, next is the brake that I made because my brake used to be really bad. It would barely even stop the scooter. So I made this little uh, mechanism, I guess. It's just made out of metal. A whole bunch of washers. I don't know why it's so blurry. A whole bunch of washers, nuts. So basically how it works, this is my cable for my brake. So when you pull this, I got this piece ugh, right there. And so when you pull this, it pushes that piece. So I, you go like this, and then that pushes that, which pushes this thing right there. And that's what stops the wheel. So that stops the wheel going like that. But what I had earlier was this came all the way down here and since it was bent it wasn't getting as it wasn't since it wasn't pulling straight and it was kind of having to pull this up it wasn't breaking very well and it was really hard to pull up with my handle up there so this allows it to be pulling straight back and it works just as well so let me show you again and it pushes that and I got a spring back because of this thing spring back so here's my volunteer assistant, Yaya, and she's going to test out the brake. Okay. Aprieta esa cosa ahí. Aquí. Con tu mano. Aquí, mira. Así. Okay, so this is my brake, and she's going to show you how it works. Okay. See how it pulls? Okay, ahora déjalo otra vez. See? So the wire pulls that in. Otra vez. It pulls it in, and that pushes that thing down there, which stops the brake. Gracias, ya, ya. De nada, muchas veces, que te hagas triunfo. Que es muy bueno el invento. And then... Good, good invention. Good, good invention. <laughs> says, ya, ya. So I just strapped this bucket on with zip ties there. Kind of random. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. My 36-volt motor, the battery pack. Oh yeah, and then for the next video, my improvements that I'm planning on making are, so when I stand on this scooter, it is not very strong, so like what happens is when I stand on it, this starts to bend, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, that, this, this piece right there starts to bend. And it's already kind of really bending. So we found that when I stand on it, it bends, and that's what makes it much weaker. So what my next plans are gonna do is change this like 30 degree angle to more like a 15 so that it won't bend as much. Because every time I stand on it, it just gets lower to the ground and it kind of makes it wobble and not as strong anymore. So I used to think it was the piping, but that's not it because it just isn't. So I just need to fix this bar right there and make it more like that, a little bit less of an angle, and that should strengthen it a ton. Yeah. Yes, like that. A little bit more, but yeah, you get the point. Muy bien, ya, ya. Okay, so that's what you'll be looking for on my next video. Thank you. And have a nice day.